Good morning. Welcome to Superior Sunrise. For 25 years, Superior Livestock Auction has been marketing cattle for people to people. Superior Livestock Auction, America's leader in livestock marketing. And now, here's Katie Kaufman. Well, good morning and welcome to Superior Sunrise, live from our studios in Fort Worth, Texas. We're glad you joined us this morning and soon I'll catch up with Superior Livestock Representative Tom Odell to give us a market report and we'll learn what's going on in the cattle industry. Later, later we'll recap the Texas and Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association Annual Convention and Trade Show and we'll learn a little bit more about the R.A. Brown Ranch in Throckmorton, Texas. Also, Kirby's Corner is debuting today, so soon Kirby Schnorr will be joining me to talk about some special interest here at Superior Livestock and we have a very special guest on hand also for Sunrise, Mr. Rob Thomas of Thomas Angus out in Oregon. As always, folks, world champion auctioneer Ralph Wade and I will preview what we have to offer today in the auction. I hope you're having a good morning and we're glad you joined us. We'll be right back. Superior is the most comprehensive livestock marketing service in the industry, serving both buyers and sellers. Superior's success and growth is the result of its reputation for honesty, integrity, and a deep desire to provide our customers with absolute satisfaction. Contact us at 800-422-2117 and find out why we're America's leader in livestock marketing. Day workers needed. Superior Productions is looking for a few great stock dogs for the first ever Superior Stock Dog Sale. We're looking for finished and prospect cow dogs that deserve to be marketed on national television. Dogs will be selling directly after the Superior Horse Auction on Saturday, May 18th. For more information, call Superior today at 800-431-4452 or log on to superiorlivestock.com. Well, welcome back to Sunrise. Joining me now is Tom Odell to give us a market report. Tom, how are you this morning? Good. How are you, Katie? Everything is good. Texas has been getting a little rain, so we've been excited about that. How's Colorado? Well, I tell you, we got a little snow the other day and then come across Kansas and Oklahoma, and boy, that country got a lot of moisture, so they need a little sun now. That's right. Well, I actually, I went home to California for Easter, which was wonderful. I hadn't seen my family since Christmas, but I will tell you, we are just dying for some rain out there. So they need to be doing their rain dances. Yeah, th this drought still is wide covered all over the country. And, you know, we're, we're seeing some some crops being planted. I was down by uh, Russell D's country yesterday and, you know, they've got some corn coming out of the ground. And so we're seeing some corn planted down here in the south. And, you know, this corn market, as everybody knows, changed in the last 10 to 12 days. And and the cattle market's kind of recovered a little bit from that. And we're going to be in a good market. You know, everybody says this yearling deal could be four to six higher from a week ago. We've got some awful good cattle to offer again. And, and it goes right back to like we've been talking about. I know the guys are losing some money, but there's not enough cattle out there to feed right now. So they're going to be pressuring that market a little. Right. Well, I visited with Philip Shaw earlier this morning. He said we're going to be offering about 30,000 heads. We have a good number and in maybe around 2.30, 3 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get out here early today. Well, you get out here early every day, <laughs> but uh, the rest of us will stay till 3 o'clock at least, and then we'll then we'll move on to the next deal. I told your dad yesterday morning when I saw your name come up on caller ID before <laughs> noon, I had to answer just so you knew that I showed up to work yeah. before noon, and uh, then I went to lunch, and then I went home. I, I was impressed. <laughs> I was impressed. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for joining me. And thank as you. you know, uh, Leanne Saunders at IMI Global. She just uh, came out with some new statistics that I wanted to share with everyone. So if you can just uh, hang out here for just a moment, we'll run through them. But uh, did you know that nine states have more cattle than people? South Dakota, Nebraska, Montana, North Dakota, Wyoming, Kansas, Idaho, Iowa, and Oklahoma. South Dakota has more than four head of cattle per person living in the state. And Rhode Island, well, they have more than one million people, but less than 5,000 head of cattle. Iowa and Oklahoma have more than 3 million people and 3 million head of cattle, while South Dakota, Montana, North Dakota, and Wyoming have more than 1 million head of cattle, but less than 1 million people. Pretty interesting, huh? You want to rattle all that off again for me? Well, that's, that is interesting, <laughs> but it, it does explain why some of those states are a lot easier to get along in. Yeah. 
That's right. You said it, not me. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. Rep for Superior Livestock for the last 25 years. I like to use the country page because it gives me advantage to sell these cattle for immediate delivery. Right after the first year, I started putting more and more cattle on there because the, the feeders and backgrounders in Montana and, and places wanted an outlet for those cattle in between the sales, and I've gotten along excellent with the program. That's one thing that kind of sets the base for the country page is, is hard work, dedication, and when we get an upswing in the market, we really need to get these cattle traded. The country page is the way to go. Try it for 60 days, and let's see the difference it'll make in your animal. When you have an all-in-one feed, it makes all the difference in the world. It's, it's been a very good product for us. But my chickens are really great layers, and I think that's because of how I feed them. They look more complete, they fill out really well. You get exceptional gain, you get exceptional growth. It does make a difference that we can see, day in and day out. Take the 60-day challenge and save up to $55 on Purina Feed. Sign up at PurinaDifference.com. exciting times here at New Holland Agriculture. Great tractors, awesome combines, incredible hay tools, and even an award-winning self-propelled sprayer. Innovative products, and a renewed commitment to people who really appreciate field smarts. Sounds like someone like you, doesn't it? Well, welcome back to Sunrise. Just a few weeks ago, the Texas and Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association had their annual convention and trade show. And let me tell you what, all the greatest industry leaders and cattle producers from across Texas, Oklahoma, and surrounding states rolled into town and learned what's going on in the cattle industry. The Texas and Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association is a 135-year-old trade organization and is the largest livestock association in Texas. The association represents more than 16,000 beef cattle producers, ranching families, and businesses who manage approximately 4 million head of cattle on 79.5 million acres of range and pasture land, primarily in Texas and Oklahoma. Donald Brown of the R.A. Brown Ranch was one of many producers on hand at the annual convention. Here at the Cattle Raisers Convention, we learn of so many things. It's very helpful to us. You know, we get so busy at home on the ranch. And here, in just a couple of days, we get lots of education, lots of understanding. They bring specialists in from all over to talk about markets and different marketing opportunities and avenues to consider talk about weather and how to manage this drought and range conditions that we're currently in. Also talk about estate planning, generational transfer of the ranch to the next generation. Those things that, you know, it's hard to figure out from the saddle. And here we can come, meet with producers from all over the state and really get some great information to help us do a better job with our families and in the cattle production business. It's something I've learned, especially from my father, that you can't just plan for tomorrow. You have to actually plan for the next six months, a year, and even up to 10 years, and, and have that plan in effect and be ready to change that variable because anything can change at the last minute. Overall, I think the spirits are good. You know, people in the cattle industry are resilient people. We're in challenging times as we look at our government structure here in our country, changing tax laws as we look at the severe drought covering such a large segment of the industry. But you know, I, I've heard it said, that he who plants a seed beneath the sod and waits to see must believe in God. And I think it's that faith and that resilience that's so uh, in, in, in intertwined with this industry, with cattle producers all over the world. Donald Brown of the R.A. Brown Ranch in Throckmorton, Texas is a fifth generation cattleman and one of the most progressive ranchers in our industry today. The R.A. Brown Ranch is a true family ranching business that has been producing some of the most superior cattle and quarter horses in the industry since 1895. The R.A. Brown Ranch raises and sells four breeds of cattle, Angus, Red Angus, Sim Angus, and Hotlander, a four-breed composite developed on the ranch in the late 1980s. Genetics are very important as we move forward because we're at the smallest cow numbers we've been in many decades. And with that, we have to be able to produce more beef with fewer cows on fewer acres. 
That's better genetics, that's more efficiency, and uh, through that, that's why we're in the bull business. We want to produce the best bulls we can to help producers increase their profitability and sustainability in the beef cattle business. The composite of the Hotlander breed that they came up with has worked for us. You're getting the best of, of four breeds, uh, Angus, Simmental, Centipole, and then the Brahmin breed. And we, we need the Brahmin influence in our herd because of the high humidity and the hot summers and uh, a lot of, under normal conditions, we usually get a lot of rainfall down there. They come out uh, ready to go to work, um, uh, keep the condition they have. The genetics are as good as you can get anywhere. Up to this point, it's all been black Angus bulls, but I was just telling Donald that we've got a little set of red cows, so uh, probably this next bull sale, we may be looking at some red bulls from him. I think there's variation in everything, it, and every producer has a nick for what he's looking for. Um, for us, we like to see a big calf, a big carcass, a big ribeye and a big grow off on that calf and, and we do find that through our A. Brown bulls. We as cattle producers, I believe it's vitally important for us to be involved in the leadership of our industry. You know, we're a small segment of the population and in the food production business, we've got to work together and through organizations like the Texas Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association, we can do that. Things like animal health, regulations, things that animal ID, things that can help us as producers to better produce for our customers and protect our families in the production cycle. You won't find any nicer folks in the cattle industry than the R.A. Brown family. They have got an excellent program going, uh, have done a tremendous amount of work in genetics, and, and that's where it's all coming to. The annual convention and trade show brings the entire industry together, from technology leaders to producers like Donald Brown. Cattle Raisers Convention is a great place to see friends and family, uh, uh, great folks from all over. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. A great trade show here, uh, great meetings and lots of entertainment here. Fun for the whole family. That's the neat part about it, is there's, there's something for everybody here at TSCRA. Superior Livestock Auction is hitting the road soon and we'd like to see you at our upcoming summer auctions all across the country. Mark your calendars now, June 11th through the 13th will be in Council Bluffs, Iowa for a Corn Belt Classic. The week of July 8th, Superior will be nestled in the beautiful mountains of Steamboat Springs, Colorado for Week in the Rockies. We'll visit our friends out west for the annual Video Royale in Winnemucca, Nevada, July 29th through August 2nd. Cooling off at the bottom of the Bighorns in Sheridan, Wyoming for the Bighorn Classic, August 19th through the 23rd. As always, our Labor Day auction will end our summer run in Denver, Colorado, September 11th through the 13th. You can view our entire auction schedule online at superiorlivestock.com and we look forward to marketing your cattle the superior way. What's in a name? Superior Livestock Auction. Reputation, integrity, creativity. What's in our name? Superior Livestock Auction. The industry leading livestock marketing company that focuses on its roots, serving the cattle industry for over 25 years. We grew out of a need and blossomed into a leader. We understand that a name means far more than just some words on a page. It's character and history. It's lifelong endeavors. It's your identity. What's in a name? Superior Livestock Auction. Market your cattle the superior way. Express Ranches, located in Yukon, Oklahoma, is ranked as the largest seed stock producer in the United States by the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, offering industry-leading breeding bulls and females for the purebred and commercial cattlemen. Join Express Ranches on Friday, April 26th for their annual Grass Time Sale. Bid and buy through Superior Productions on RFD TV or SuperiorClickToBid.com. Let Express be your destination for your next herd sire or foundation female. 
Well, welcome back to Superior Sunrise. You've seen Kirby on the program the last few sunrises, and I have to say we are so excited to debut Kirby's Corner, a special interest feature segment for the show. And we had to do it today because it's Sunrise's second birthday. So we're celebrating with Kirby. Yes, what a better way to spice things up. You know, I'm excited and I look forward to this. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you went on location this week. You just traveled just a little bit east of here. But talk about uh, who you visited with and what we're going to be seeing. Well, um, each year, Superior Livestock Auction and um, the Buddy Jeffers family, they extend an invitation to high school seniors who are eager to continue their education. And so they extend a scholarship. And so I got to catch up with Harriet Jeffers. Um, and talked a little bit about, you know, the scholarship in memory of Buddy Jeffers, and it was just a great experience. Yeah, you're exactly right, along with the Jeffers family. Like Kirby said, Superior Livestock also offers a scholarship, and let's see what Mrs. Jeffers had to say about her annual scholarship. In 1987, Superior Livestock Auction introduced satellite video marketing to the nation's livestock industry and forever changed the way load lots of cattle are marketed. This was a vision of the late Buddy Jeffers of Amarillo Livestock and Jim Odell of Brush Livestock. Buddy was just so passionate about agriculture for one thing. He loved land, he loved agriculture. He really was a very much of a self-made man. I know that he always wanted to see people succeed. So I just felt like this was an opportunity to honor his memory and then perhaps give somebody else a chance. Carrying on the legacy and memory of the late Buddy Jeffers, this year's 2013 Buddy Jeffers scholarship question is, why do we need a farm bill and what is the role of agriculture in our economy? The winner of this prestigious scholarship will be awarded $3,000. Buddy was just a true entrepreneur, you know, from the time he was a teenager. He had that vision and dream, and I think that Jim and Buddy made such a wonderful partner, not only because they had such integrity and high ideals and were both so smart and they complemented each other with their own individual talents. Buddy Jeffers, my partner, one of the greatest people that you'd ever work with and probably the most dedicated market man that I know of in the United States. Buddy, I want to thank you for being here. Not only are you my partner in Superior, you run a great market in Amarillo. Well, Jim, you're so generous. And I don't think that, I don't want to expound on you, mine, your partnership too much, but it's a mutual feeling between us and I think that's what has made Superior great. The late Buddy Jeffers and Jim Odell's passion and dedication to the livestock industry established the largest livestock auction company in the nation. Superior understands the importance of higher education and is also offering a $1,000 scholarship. The 2013 Superior Livestock Scholarship question is, social media can affect public perception and opinion very rapidly, continuously targeting younger generations. You are the future, the millennial generation of 80 million that, as it moves through society, is changing all the rules. Using social media, how would your generation promote the beef industry to the rest of society? Well, isn't Mrs. Jeffers such a doll? I know you had such a great time over there in Dallas. But looking at the superior livestock question, and, and you and I being a, from the millennial generation, I might be out of it just a tad, but social media really is the wave of the future, and I thought that was, I thought that was a great question. It really is. You know, it's um, changing, and times are changing, and it, it'll be interesting to see what, you know, the younger generation has to say and their, their answers towards that question. Right. Um, People applying have to be a part of the Superior family somehow, but they can log on to superiorlivestock.com for more information. The Buddy Jeffers Scholarship is offered on buddyjefferscholarship.com, or you can call us here at the office. Yeah, absolutely. We have both links available for you on our homepage at Superior. And like, uh, like Kirby and I said, Kirby was granted many scholarships going to college. We know how important it is. So log on to Superior and, and get the rules and information and send those essays in because I know, like Mrs. Jeffers had told us, that she loves 
to read them. And I know everyone here in the office loves to read your essays as well. So thank you, Kirby. Great Kirby's Corner. Thank you for having me. I look forward to being back. All right, folks, Rob Thomas with Thomas Angus will join me in just a moment. Why do we need a farm? Supersize your profit with bulls from Sandhill Farms. Friday, April 5th at 1 p.m. Central on Rural TV. Offering 100 Hereford bulls with top Hereford genetics. Also offering 16 registered cows with heifer calves and 65 commercial Hereford and black baldy open heifers. Sandhill Farms, the brand that exceeds your goals. For more information and to view the catalog online, visit superiorlivestock.com. As ranchers, we're always keeping an eye on what good old mother nature's given or taken from our cattle's forage base. It's a guessing game we all play as to if key minerals are actually getting into our cows or not. Well, no more games for this rancher as of right now. Right now mineral, that is. It comes color-coded in emerald, bronze, gold, or onyx. It's a design system for year-round intake and features superior all-weather technology, so your hard-earned money just isn't blowing in the wind. It's the right time for right now mineral. These are exciting times here at New Holland Agriculture. It's no secret that dealers define who we are. This group of energized businessmen are delivering like never before. And what are they delivering? New products, service, and equipment for people with field smarts just like you. Hi, my name is John Grimes. I'm from Hillsboro, Ohio, and we've used Concept Aid for up to 10 years in our breeding program. It's easily the most palatable product. Well, in today's economic environments, we really think not skimping on mineral and going with the top of the line product, do we really see the results in, especially on reproduction. Well, in these days, I think reproduction should be the priority. We've got lots of different breeds and a lot of production emphasis, but if we don't get them bred and get a live calf on the ground, the rest of it doesn't really matter. Visit vitafirm.com today. Well, welcome back to Sunrise. Joining me now is one of our very special guests, Rob Thomas of Thomas Angus out there in the Northwest in Oregon. Great to see you, Rob. It's great to be here, Katie. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Well, you're so welcome. Last time I saw you, we were soaking up the sun in Tampa, Florida. Now we're here in Fort Worth. Your first time to the Fort Worth studios and the stockyards. How do you like it? Absolutely <laughs> impressive. You know, it's just, um, I guess I've, you know, the whole Superior crew is so professional and, and um, we've just been impressed our, our entire trip here. So it's wonderful. Oh. Thank you, Katie. Well, thank you. Since I saw you in Tampa, you've had a spring sale. You said that it, that it went well. What's, what's going on at Thomas Angus? Well, we just got done with a successful uh, spring bull sale and that was a tremendous strong bull sale, a lot of demand. Um, you know, we're just, we're, we're charging forward and a uh, really exciting time on our ranch. We're heading into an extremely large embryo transplant program and um, we're just uh, expanding our market. And so we're excited. A lot of exciting things happening right now. Great. We'll expand just a little bit. You're so humble. I always feel like I just have to wring all this information out of you, but talk about your cow herd. It, it is one in a million. Well, we, we're, we're very fond of our cow herd. Um, we run about 1,200 Angus cows there in Eastern Oregon, um, exclusively AI and embryo transplant. Um, we've been in the business for about 50 years. We've got a wonderful set of customers, um, a loyal following. Um, the cattle, cattle do well all the way from conception all the way through the feedlot. And, and, uh, and you know, we just, um, we, we're, just, we're just very fortunate to have such a strong cow herd, great set of customers, and, um, and pretty blessed to, to be able to put all those things together. In a, in, a, in a life that we just love. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, switching gears just a little, we have to talk about why you're down here. You brought some friends along with you, but you're headed just a little bit further south to a pretty fun event. Well, um, Trent Stewart introduced me to Rayburn Smith, and and Rayburn has a crawfish feed in um, in Louisiana, and so we're heading down there right now. A uh, good friend of mine, John Wilson from Beef Northwest Feeders, and uh, we're um, we're gonna we're gonna see what, what, what they do in Louisiana. <laughs> a ton of crawfish, literally 2,000 pounds of crawfish, nearly 1,000 people down there in Natchitoches. And uh, I know it's going to be a big time. I know a lot of superior people are going to be down there. And I'm, I know that, uh, I don't know if Louisiana's ready for some Oregonians, but I don't know uh, if Oregon folks are ready for Louisiana either. 
I don't, I don't know if anybody's ready for, for us or going in. And so <laughs> it'll be fun. Oh, it'll be fun. Well, I good. think we'll mix pretty well. We'll have so much fun. Thank you for joining me on Sunrise. Great to hear all the wonderful things at Thomas Angus. Thank you, Katie. Thank you for having us again. Absolutely. Appreciate it. All right, folks. Well, coming up, world champion auctioneer Ralph Wade. Stay with us. Cotton & Associates, a sale management and consulting firm, serves industry-leading breeders of registered Angus, Semmental, Hereford, and other breeds throughout the U.S. We partner with beef producers that design, engineer, and lead the beef industry. We've been creating and building relationships in the cattle industry for over 25 years. Our goal, to provide services that assist in generating value to your cattle program. Working together, succeeding together. That's Cotton & Associates. Superior Productions is gearing up for another great Superior Family Horse Auction. Mark your calendars for Saturday, May 18th live on RFD-TV as we offer quality ranch, roping, and performance horses. If you have a horse who deserves to be marketed on national television, call us today at 800-431-4452 or visit us online at superiorlivestock.com. De Brucker Charlet is the home of performance, carcass, and show winning cattle. Commercial cattlemen from every corner of the nation know De Brucker Charlet for their incredible package of performance, grade, and yield. It's the genetics that bring you what you need. The De Bruckers invite you to visit their new website, debruckercharlet.com, to get the latest on their program. De Brucker Charlet, cattle that help your bottom line. Welcome back to Sunrise. Great to see you, Ralph. Beautiful day here in Fort Worth, and we're going to be offering some great cattle, aren't we? Oh, I mean, we're going to have a great day today. Uh, you know, Katie, we've got a little over 30000 on the catalog, and then we've got quite a few supplements for us today. Uh, you know, this old market kind of picking up some. You are talking to Tommy earlier with uh, uh, all around the country, and uh, so we're going to have wind up with around 32,000 cattle, and of course, we'll start out with our regions 3, 4, 5, and 6. Uh, well, we'll have our Holsteins, and in the region 3, 4, 5, and 6 yearling steers, go right on to 3, 4, 5, and 6 yearling heifers, then we head off up into the north country and sell the region one and two yearling steers and then the yearling heifers to follow them and uh, then we'll go down to florida well we have our calves up in that area uh, that we'll sell it in the one and two region and then we're going to come back down to florida and to our good friends down there we've only got about seven or eight lots of those good florida calves that'll be on and then we're back up to our calves on cows just uh, i think five or six lots of those that are uh, down in the three four five and six area and then we'll be on our wean calves in three four five and six and and uh, wind it up with our bread stock as always. And we've got some really good replacement heifers. Mm -hmm. And with all the moisture we've had around the country, some of you thinking about those replacement heifers. Uh, I know that this uh, bread stock uh, uh, portion of our auctions uh, everywhere has been getting better. And especially with all this moisture we had across a lot of country that uh, really are out of the drought area. I know you all talked this morning that it's still over a good bit of area when you get into areas, but uh, you know we're, we're in a lot better shape in Oklahoma and, and across Arkansas and Missouri. Yeah, you are exactly right. Well, we have a great auction planned for today. Like you said, just a little over 30,000 head. Yeah. Switching gears, talking about some exciting events that are coming up. So tomorrow night, the Tough Hedeman Championship Challenge Bull Riding, where it all got started 21 years ago. Legendary Tough Hedeman. His bull riding is going to be just right across the alleyway here at the Cowtown Coliseum. So if you're in the area, come on out. It's going to be a great event. Also mark on your calendar the Working Ranch Cowboys Association Branch Bronc Riding Saturday, May 25th. If you want to talk that'll about rank. Yeah. yeah, that'll be exciting. I'll tell you, have you ever been to one of those no, and watched them? No, I, I haven't, I, but I've seen I, the video. It's a whole nother ball game. They can all go to the NFR and they can go to those deals where they're, you know, they're riding there in the uh, saddle bronc and that. But right. when you get to these ranch rodeos where I mean they're you know it's ride as ride can I mean it gets pretty wild <laughs> yes and that is in Amarillo Texas Saturday May 25th so make a note of that and then I do have to say I'm headed to Oklahoma City hey. to go to the Ram National Circuit Finals Rodeo a national championship rodeo the best of the best of every circuit and I'm going to be reporting up there tomorrow hey that'll be good <laughs> I wish I was going to be there I you know I've got to go over and see some customers tomorrow so I okay. probably won't get to do it but right. uh, that'll be great it's yeah. good to have you in Oklahoma and uh, I'll tell you you'll see a lot of different attitudes up there uh, then <laughs> now than what it was because we did get some great rain across there uh, 
I've heard all the way from uh, some areas that only got like an inch and a half to two inches, but clear up to six inches in some places. That's so That's great. Well, right. thank you so much. I hope you have a great auction today. And before you get down there and sell that first lot, folks, if you want a buyer number for today's auction, as always, you can call our 800 number, 800-422-2117, or visit us online at superiorlivestock.com. Thank you so much. And uh, before Ralph gets down there, like I said, if you would please stand for the singing and playing of our national anthem.